Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a hot topic in the coding community. Our arrow functions faster and more performant than traditional standalone function declarations in V8. This question comes from a viewer who finds themselves in a friendly debate with a colleague over coding styles. One prefers the concise syntax of arrow functions, while the other champions the clarity of old-style function declarations. Let's dive into this discussion and uncover the truth about performance and readability in JavaScript. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's explore the performance differences between arrow functions and traditional function declarations in the V8 JavaScript engine. First, it's important to note that both arrow functions and traditional functions are optimized by V8. However, the performance difference is often negligible for most use cases. Arrow functions provide a more concise syntax and lexically bind the this value, which can lead to cleaner code in certain contexts. However, this does not inherently make them faster. In terms of readability, traditional function declarations can be clearer, especially for those new to JavaScript. It's essential to choose the style that best fits your team's coding standards. In conclusion, while there may be slight performance variations, the choice between arrow functions and traditional functions should primarily focus on readability and coding style preferences. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In V8, there's a performance penalty when using either traditional or arrow functions for the first time. However, there's no noticeable speed difference in Chrome between the two. The performance test shows that both function types perform similarly after the initial call, indicating that developers can choose either without worrying about speed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A recent benchmark showed that arrow functions are generally slightly faster than regular functions in V8, but the difference is minimal. Sometimes regular functions perform better, so if context or this isn't a concern, choose whichever style you prefer. Here's a quick look at the code examples. First, the arrow function adds two numbers. And now, the regular function that does the same thing. For more details, check out the benchmark link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
in a performance test comparing arrow functions and traditional function declarations in Node.js, both types of functions showed similar execution times. The tests involved adding numbers and calling a function repeatedly. For the first test, the traditional function took about 931 milliseconds, while the arrow function took around 960 milliseconds. In the second test, both functions performed almost equally, with the traditional function at 479 milliseconds and the arrow function at 478 milliseconds. Overall, the results indicate that there is no significant performance advantage between arrow functions and traditional function declarations in V8. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In my experience, arrow functions tend to run faster than regular JavaScript functions. I tested this in a React component, and the one using arrow functions performed slightly better. Here's a code snippet demonstrating the difference between a regular function and an arrow function in a React component. Feel free to share your thoughts if you have a different opinion on this topic. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Arrow functions are essentially function expressions and are similar to traditional function declarations. For example, an arrow function can be defined like this, const foo a b equals a plus b, which is equivalent to a regular function expression. One key difference is that function declarations can be hoisted, meaning they can be called before they are defined. In contrast, arrow functions cannot be hoisted. Additionally, arrow functions cannot be used as generator functions, which can yield values. This is a limitation to keep in mind. When using functions that require the this keyword, arrow functions can be beneficial. However, in terms of performance, there isn't a significant difference between arrow functions and traditional function declarations. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.